drawing order. This is going to be a quick one, right? So the drawing order itself, it, it does matter, right? If I draw a rectangle, right? And let's go back to our uh, sandbox and we'll see this happen. So I have my initial rectangle here. Let's draw another rectangle. Okay. Let me just copy this. Well, we'll do a simple one. We'll, we'll do a rectangle and we'll do it at 200, 200, right? Right in the center. And I'm going to make this one 100 by 100. Okay. So it's just a regular black rectangle. Okay. So if you can see what happens, oh, of course they don't line up at all. Uh, so let's say make this at uh We'll make this go up a little higher to 100, right? So you can see that the way that this one was drawn, it drew the uh, gradient rectangle on line one, and then it drew on top of that because they overlapped the black rectangle, okay? If I switch the order of these and put the black one first, okay? Now it draws the black rectangle and then puts the, uh, the more colorful one on top of that, okay? So the newest code will always go on top if there's ever any overlapping, okay? And again, later on, we will talk about how to control what's on top and what's on bottom, but that is much later. I think it's like chapter five or something like that, okay? So the drawing order does matter. Keep that in mind as you're doing your code, okay? All right, borders we kind of have talked about already, so I'll let you kind of take a look at the border information here. All right, I'm gonna get rid of my black rectangle. Okay, and I'm gonna simplify this uh, this code a little bit. We're gonna stick with just a nice, uh, nice red color here, okay, so this isn't distracting us, okay? And so here are the things that I can specify with the border, okay? The first thing I can do is when I write the word border, I can just do a color, right? So we'll just do blue, okay? And if I, again, if I look at my docs and colors, I'll open this up in another tab, right? If I talk about the border, and I'm just gonna go to my rectangle, okay? I can specify the border, and I can either write the word none, which is true by default, uh, or I can uh, specify a color, which is what we've done. I can also specify the border width, Okay, by default, the border width is two, right? So you can see that it, it didn't ask me what the border width was, it just drew a border. But if I want it to be a thicker border, I could say border width, okay? And again, notice the syntax, capital W, okay? That's something called camel case, okay? Where if you have multiple words making up, uh, making up a parameter, uh, everything except for the first word will be capitalized, right? So if I wanted to say like a three word, like border width design, right, the D would also be capitalized, okay? But in any case, I can specify the border width with a number, okay? And that just makes it a thicker black line, okay? I can also specify that, if I go back to my uh, my documentation again, I can specify dashes, right? I can say that uh, dashes is currently set to true. If I just change that and say dashes equals uh, true instead of false, okay? I will get a dashed version of the border, right? So there are a lot of things that I can uh, specify. Here's the last thing that might be interesting with borders. I'm going to get rid of the dashes, okay? Instead of writing fill red, okay, so here's what our shape currently looks like. Maybe I just want just a border, right? I don't want the inside to be filled in. I also have the option to say, if I've specified that there will be a border, to say fill is equal to none, okay, and that will make it just be kind of like the border of the shape only but the inside will not be filled, right? So that is something that is a border. It's, it's a color property, but it's actually, we will only really be using it when we do borders, right? So that's something to keep in mind as well, okay?